The Color Wheel and Color Combinations, a review by Doris Chorin. This is a basic review on how the color wheel works. You start with the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, and then you go from there. So here I have yellow, I have red, and now I'm going to add blue. These are called primary colors. And primary colors are very important. They're the basic building blocks of all color mixing. Now, when you mix two colors together, these are called secondary colors. So yellow and red gives you orange. And those are basic premises that most artists learn as you go. And we don't have names for them. What we have is just basic knowledge on how those colors work together. But here I'm adding words to these exercises. Yellow and blue make green, and that's a complementary color. Blue and red make purple, and that's a complementary color. Now that's a little dark. Here you can see more the purple. So let's say you have red on one side of the color wheel, now green is the basic color that you should use in your painting to make that red pop out. Or you use red to make the green pop out. So those are color combinations that are very, very popular. Here's another one. If you have purple on one side in your painting, you should make sure that you have the color yellow. or a little bit of yellow orange in your painting. So here I have a yellowish orange and that's a really good color to put with your purple. So let's say you have a purple sky in your painting. Then you make sure that you have little bits of orange sun or moon that you would add to it. If you're doing an abstract, that works the same. Another color that you could add in your painting is this yellowish green. That's a great color combo for paintings. Here you have purple again. And what goes with purple? We have the yellow that goes with purple. Now a really good color combo to go with the yellow and the purple is a brighter yellow. So you have a yet bright yellow. You have a variation on the yellow. You have the orange. And then you have the purple. Green is another addition that you can make. So if you have purple and orange, you add these two other two complementaries to go with them. Again, we have purple and we have a red. Now purple is made from blue and red. So if you put purple and red together, make sure that you use the same red. And then you use the orange. So you have a color family. So you have the red, you have the red mixed with the blue, and the, that makes purple. You have the red mixed with yellow, and you have orange. These are great color combinations to use in a painting. If you have green on one side of the color wheel, and you have blue, remember yellow and blue make green. So make sure you use the same blue. So you have the yellow, green, blue combination. What would you use to offset those colors? Now a really good combo is the red. So you could add yellow, green, and blue, and then add little bits of red to make those other colors pop up. These are color combinations that most artists use intuitively. So we're here we're going to mix browns. Now to make brown, you put yellow, red, and blue in different portions. And depending on the kind of brown you want, you can just change it up. So add a little white, add a little more blue, add a little more red, and make it darker, you could have a darker brown. So if you add a lot of red and blue to your darks, then you can have a really dark dark, and that's really preferable. Here I have a very dark dark. I add a little white, and I have a gray color. 
the more white I would add, the greater it, grayer it would be. Now, the more pigment you have, like that one, uh, you get a darker dark, and the more white you add, the grayer it gets. Now, you could keep adding white and getting more variations. I won't do that for you, but you can try that out. So here are some basic tips. Try these out. They're really fun.